Hi there, my name is Dylan Walker. I'm a telemetry tech support engineer for Schneider Electric. Today I'll be giving you a quick video tutorial on how to configure basic communication between our J-Series Trio radios using Ethernet and the web user interface. The Trio radios are extremely robust, long-range radios designed for a large variety of network configurations. They can operate in both stable and rugged environments. The J-Series radios transmit on an unlicensed frequencies and can communicate with slave and master devices via either serial or ethernet cables. Before you start this tutorial, uh, factory reset your trio radio. Instructions on how to do this can be found in your radio's quick start guide. Once you factory reset your radio, connect the computer to the radio via ethernet. You can use either ethernet port 1 or 2, it doesn't matter. When you factory reset your trio radio, the IP address gets automatically changed to 192.168.2.15 so you need to put your computer on this subnet as well to do this uh, click on your internet icon down here and go to network settings then go to adapter options click on your ethernet and properties and select the IPv4 then you want to click on use the following IP address and just make sure it goes 192.168.2 and then this number here can be anything just except for 15 and close all these boxes for it to update. Open your web browser, type in the following address into your web browser. This is the default IP address of a factory reset trio radio. Once you're into the web user interface, click on the setup tab, then click on the wizards link. Eventually this will open the configuration wizard. First we're going to configure the remote radio. Uh, so select remote point to point and click start wizard. On this page all we need to change is the radio's IP address. We just need to change it to something unique but we also want to stay on the same subnet as your computer. So my computer is 192.168.2.1 so I'm going to make my radio 192.168.2.152. You then need to type in a unique subnet ID. This subnet ID name is going to be the same for all your radios that you want to talk to each other. So I'm going to call my subnet ID tutorial. Then scroll to the top of the page and select activate configuration. Once you've waited the appropriate time uh, type in the new IP address of your Trio radio into the web browser. Uh, so mine is Enzyme 152, so I'll type that in. Then go back to that settings tab and click on network in the left hand side. So here you can see that there are a lot more parameters that it's possible to configure. Uh, some of these are non-issues such as just identification parameters like radio name. Uh, but some of them are important like radio data rate. Uh, this has to be the same in all your radios in order for them to communicate. You can also see that each parameter has a description on the right hand side of the page. So feel free to have a look through all these different tabs down the left hand side, network radio, etc, etc. Uh, but the only thing we're worried about right now is eDiags. So click on eDiags and click enable. Then you just have to change the controller one IP address to the IP address of your computer. This allows us to do diagnostics on your radio using Ethernet. Once you've done this, click activate configuration at the top right hand side. Uh, you're going to get an error and it will take you to the security tab and ask you to configure security. Uh, if you want, you can do this, just make a username and password, but I'm going to disable security for this tutorial. Now connect to your second radio using Ethernet. You should have factory reset this as well, so type in the factory default IP address 192.168.2.15. Again, go to the setup tab and wizards. So leave this as a point-to-point -point access point radio and press start wizard. Uh, change your IP address again. So I'm going to just make mine 151 and make sure the subnet ID is the exact same as your remote radio. So mine is tutorial again. Also, because this is access point, you have to type in the serial numbers of your remote radios that you want to communicate with. Uh, the serial number can be found on the underside of your radio underneath the barcode or else it's the title of the web user interface. Activate the configuration. Type in the new IP address and enable eDiags for this remote radio. After the appropriate amount of time, refresh the page and then click on the Diagnostics tab. 
in Browse Network, you can see that your access point can see the remote radio. Now click on Packet Transmission Test and type in your remote radio number. Then click Start Packet Test. Once the packet test is completed, observe there should be a very low percentage of lost packets. Mine is zero. You can then open the commissioning record of the packet test. Uh, this is a good way of uh, saving the data from your test so that you know how the radios perform under certain conditions. Now exit the web user interface and open your TV management suite. This can be found in the start menu. Open the diagnostics. Create a new file. Uh, call it whatever you want. Type in unit name for your access point radio. I'll call mine AP. Type in the unit serial number. Make it J series or whatever yours is. Put it on Ethernet and type in the remote IP address. And don't forget to change it to be an access point radio. Also, I need to change my DCV, DC volts alarm because I have 24 volts going in. And so I have to pump it up to 28 because I don't want to set off an alarm. Next, you create your remote radio in here. So do exactly the same thing. Give it a different name and make it a remote radio. Apply the changes and then exit. Then you have to create your EDAGS port. So just put in the IP address of your computer. Then you can start the group poll by clicking on this icon here. Eventually, diagnostics should start popping up, which tell you some of the properties of your radios. The diagnostic software has a few other features which I'll leave for you to explore on your own. I hope you found this video useful. For more information on uh, Trio radio configuration and using the diagnostics, uh, please see the links you see in this video.